Hello and welcome to a special edition of The Drive Report in association with Jeep. In this episode, we try and find out just how well the tarmac-oriented Grand Cherokee performs off-road. Now this part of the video explores the Grand Cherokee's off-roading ability. And it should come as no surprise because Jeep is pretty much the world's foremost off-roader. Jeep as the brand invented the world's first off-roader. So despite this car's luxury credentials, it's imperative that it live up to those standards set by the Willis Jeep all those years ago. Now in a lot of ways, this is a very modern SUV right from the get-go when it was launched in the early 90s. It kind of let go of the old ladder frame formula and went for a monocoque chassis because the idea was always to have as much on-road luxury as possible and that formula has been dialed up even more in today's time when most luxury off-roaders spend about 70 to 80 percent of their lifespan on the road. But now that we've seen what its on-road mannerisms are like and the fact that it lives up to those luxury credentials extremely well, we have to find out what this thing is like off-road. And just as you'd expect, the Grand Cherokee's short overhangs make for convenient entry and departure angles. Now, operating this off-road system is about as simple as it can get because, well, there's really not much you have to do. There are four modes, sand, mud, snow, auto and sport with the last two being dedicated primarily for on-road usage. Oh, you've run out of road suddenly? Not a problem. Just toggle, switch to sand and mud, and off you go. However, if you want a little more visual detail, then you go into the vehicle side of the menu, press launch off-road pages, which gives you a clearer view of all that is going on, including pitch, roll, uh, all the metrics in terms of oil pressure, temperature, coolant temperature, battery voltage, everything that you would want in an off-roading SUV. Then, going to vehicle dynamics, it's pretty much smooth sailing because the Grand Cherokee is being locally assembled in India, which gives Jeep room to essentially tweak it to Indian conditions. And that again makes all the difference because it's not by accident that its ride height has been tweaked to what it is at the moment, which makes it the tallest riding SUV in the luxury SUV class, in this full-sized luxury SUV. Now, another staple that often comes up in, in this segment, uh, especially when you're dealing with SUVs which have to be just as good off-road as they are on-road, uh, it's a tricky territory to tread because Expectations are very high, demands are very high. And as such, if you're wondering why they've missed out on air suspension and the top end trim, well, Jeep has a very good reason for this. The brand believes that ultimately air suspension is a dead weight that the customer has to just drive around with uh, and it drains them of their financial resources over time, given how expensive it is to maintain. It also adds to the cost of the car considerably. So, keeping that in mind and keeping the fact that a unique and competitive price point was key in positioning this car in the current market space, they decided to keep air suspension out. Are we considerably poorer for it? I don't think so. Air suspension, the manner in which it works, in any case, it takes a little bit of speed to build up for it to really take effect properly. And you don't really get to do that very often. Uh, you certainly don't get to do that while off-roading, so it really makes no difference on that front. The certain ease with which this thing is operated that makes all the difference. It's the view from up here is great. I don't see a big 
imposing bonnet i'm really sitting really high up it's a very wide clear view of the surroundings very domineering and uh, really comforting not just for on road usage but especially tricky roads like this which tend to crop up whether you want them or not with indian road conditions and the way and the rapidity with which they deteriorate uh, post monsoon you can't really plan a journey without taking into account that things like these will happen that eventually you will run out of road and when you do you're better off with a vehicle that can just shake off pretty much any terrain you can throw at it even though the main emphasis here is on road luxury and performance let's face it it's not a ladder frame suv it's got a monocoque so it makes it a little more dynamic on the road it contains its body roll the monocoque has been refined over the years to become feel lighter and that does show when you drive this car i mean jeep the word in india is literally synonymous with off roading it's applied to any rough and tough vehicle that can go off road that has that sort of brawny appeal and it takes decades of r&d decades of really making exceptional suvs to get to that place where just the word alone can evoke an idea uh, of a vehicle and one doesn't really have to do anything one doesn't really have to explain what this brand is about